All right, let's just move this very pretty camera out of the way. This is the Ricoh GR1 for the unboxing of the new Hopalite Iris Light. And this is the packaging. Look how amazing that looks. But before we start the unboxing, I thought I would show you something else. Look how cool this looks. My X100F with the Hopalite Micro on top. I think this looks pretty sweet. And you know, it really shows design, aesthetics, as well as functionality, tactility. It just feels nice in the hand goes a long way when it comes to any kind of creative endeavor. So let's put all these things down. All right, and take a look at the box here. This is the Iris by Hobolite, the brand new light. So they have the micro, which is the, on the lights on the side here. I actually have two minis on either side here as well, and the big Avant. Uh, so the entire lighting here is from Hobolite, and I'm just using the micros because they look awesome, and I just love the aesthetics, but as well, just add a little dimension to this uh, video. But I asked Hobolite, is this the packaging for just like media, or is this how it's gonna come? And they said, this is how it comes. And so this is the, the creator kit, and we'll talk about the pricing of everything a little bit later, but 199 US at launch for this creator kit. And so let's start the unboxing. Let's open this up here. And as you can tell, I have not yet opened this. It's still sealed up, because I want you to kind of, I want you to experience the excitement that I'm gonna have. We're gonna both be excited at the same time. I mean, I had the media brief, but I have not yet opened this. And so here we go, Iris, and here's some packaging, some information. Uh, founder, um, Helena, she writes a little note here, and as well, oh, <laughs> gives the embargo day. Okay, so this is kind of set for media, but I was told this is gonna be the creator kit. All right, so here we go. This is a creator kit. Oh man, this is a lot smaller than I thought. Um, so this kind of jumped out of the packaging here, but look at the, look, look at, Look, look how small this light is. This is exactly what I was looking for. I mean, this is so small, just one second. You all know how small the Ricoh GR1 is, right? And it's like a super thin film point shoot. I mean, if you compare these two, I mean, other than the lens stick, I mean, if I turn this on, obviously the lens sticks out, but I mean, look at that. Look at the, look at the size of this little uh, iris. And this is exactly what I was looking for from Hobolite. The smallest light, thus far uh, is the micro, which is on either side here. And as much as I love the micro, when I travel, when I go out, I'm still like, ah, should I bring it or not bring it? This size here, is this is just perfect. This is amazing. So here's a comparison. All right, so this is it. And it looks like they already put the adjustable lens on here. And as you can see, it is magnetic, just like the micros, all right? That's awesome, and you can see this is a, a COB, which stands for chip on board. I like, I just like calling it a cob light, but it's just a single LED. So uh, some people may be wondering, well, you know, five watts, it doesn't sound like a lot. This little Aperture MC is also five watts. But you can see this has multiple uh, LED lights. Some actually are for warm, and some are for cool, and some are actually for RGB. So it's five watts, but well, I don't know how many lights are in here, where this is, five watts for a single light, and unlike this, you could put a diffusion, kind of a little panel thing on here, but this has modifiers. You can change out, you can actually put these uh, barn doors on here. So this is the same connector, and I'm gonna just double check here. So here's the other mini that I had. Take this off here, and so this one here is not, this, this focus light here is actually just kind of stuck on here. I think there's a button, here we go. This button will remove it like this, so you can see, same thing, it's a single chip on board. But this accessory here, we have the barn doors. So let's just see here. There you go. Bada bing, bada bang. Barn doors are now on. I mean, it looks kind of different. It looks really oversized, but you can put it on. And as well, let's see here, we have the red filter here, as well as a little diffusion dome. There you go magnetically sticks on. So if you have a micro, pretty much all the accessory, the magnetic accessories are gonna be interchangeable between the two lights, which is awesome. So I'm glad that they decided to stick this magnetic connector between the micro and the iris. So that's pretty awesome. So it looks like this comes like this. This is one of the main accessories. And okay, we'll talk about this a little bit. There's a little slit there, and we'll see what that little slit does. 
And let's move some of these um, micro accessories off the side. Here we go. And so let's keep on looking in here. So actually maybe we'll just take everything out here. This is called the magic lens. And check this one out. Look how big. Actually there's more than one. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so this is the magic lens. And this thing here, this here is the adjustable lens. And this should be a Fresnel. All right, so I'm just trying to get all these lenses straight here, guys. Let me just uh, line these all up. And here is the, the dome. This is the dome. So this is kind of like a softbox or diffuser here, frosted dome here. And then we have these filters. Check out how cool these filters are. They all have names. This is the Aurora. Can you see that? A little bit of color there. It's more than just one color. And then this one here, this one here is called Sunset. And this one here, oh, look at that. You definitely see the two-tone there. This one here says Dawn on it. And look at this guy right here. I'll put all the names down. There's names for all of them. I don't even know if they, they had finalized the names before they put it in. And then here is your USB-C cable. And I think, so this is it. This is what you get in the creator kit. And it all, cool, look, this is even, is this magnetic? I think there's, I think there's, I think there's magnets in here. So either you keep this box for storage or just keep it because it looks cool and you can put other things in here. Maybe you could put watches. All right, so I'll move this out of the way. So this is, okay, so let's, let's go through it. This is the basic light right here, right? The COB there, and there's nothing in front of here. So you gotta start adding the different um, accessories on here. So the first thing that you get uh, standard with every single one is just this basic adjustable lens right here. And so you can actually, it clicks in magnetically and it goes from I think 20 to 40 degrees. I'll turn it on right now here. So here it is, it's on, and you can sort of see how you can adjust it right there. Can you see that? So that's kind of the standard lens that you get with this. But of course you don't need to use this lens here. You can also use, this is the Fresnel lens right here, and this really focuses uh, the light. So it's gonna be like a real hot, you see that? You can even see how much more intense this light looks with this Fresnel lens. And what I didn't realize is that the Fresnel lens and the, the basic lens basically attach together, look at that. The magnets are so strong. These are rare earth magnets that just kind of clip on. So now here is the focus light with the Fresnel lens. So sure, five watts, and I'm at, what am I at? I'm at 33%, and here's the knob control here. So this is so, all the Hobo lights are so intuitive that uh, you basically see, like you press this, this is the Kelvin, right? So you're going from 27 up to 65, but if you turn the wheel, you can just adjust it like this, right? So you can see how it's going from nice and warm right up to almost blue light right here. And then if you want to switch over to power, you just basically, you're speaking back and forth. Here's your Kelvin, here's your power. And so, you know, it goes from basically zero to 1%, which is nice. But again, if you press the button, it goes up in quarters, right? So here's 100%, which is really bright actually. And, but this is with the, the Fresnel attachment here. So again, you can see 100%, take off the Fresnel light, here we go. And so this is without the Fresnel and let's drop the brightness here. It's way too bright. All right, so there's that light here. And now we can add, so this one here is the aperture. So you can see, you actually get aperture control. And there's no optics in here. This is just to control. So this kind of acts like a snoot. So for those of you who don't know what a snoot is, this is a snoot attachment. So sometimes if you just want to record something and you just want to focus on like one little spot, so if, say you're doing product photography and you don't want to just light one thing, it's kind of nice to have a snoot. Well, this thing pretty much acts like a snoot, right? See how it focuses it down, have it wide like this. And again, these are all stackable. So it'd be fun to play around with, you know, what should go first, what should go last. So maybe I'll put the, the aperture here and then I will add the regular, there's a little groove in here. So it looks like maybe if you have anything on first, they want this on first, and I would want it wide like this, and then maybe add the Fresnel, and then you can add the aperture, there you go. The standard adjustable lens, you have the Fresnel, and then now you have the aperture control like this. You can see how you can control that like this, right? And on top of that, you can still add 
the uh, frosted dome filter to, to soften it, but you do lose a little bit of intensity when you do that. But here we go. So now we actually got adjustable lens, you have the Fresnel, you have the aperture, which is not a lens, and then you have this uh, frosted dome on here. But I think one of the coolest ones that you can add onto this system is actually the magic lens. And so let's put this on here. And look at that. Look at the look look at the madness. See, isn't that cool? Looks like a galaxy. Now wouldn't this be cool if and actually it looks like this even kind of goes in and out like this. I'm not sure if that's by design, probably. It changes maybe the point. Let's just see what happens here. Yeah, so it even changes almost like the focus. It seems more focused this way. And look at that. Imagine there's like a little motor in here and actually this kind of spins. So it'll actually spin this up against the back of your wall. Wouldn't that be cool? And then as you add these different modifiers, you'll get different effects. So one of them is, uh, for instance here, let's just change the Kelvin now to, let's say, so 5,500 Kelvin's are close to daylight, right? You have this look. Now you have these filters and that little slit that I told you about right here, well, you can drop these filters in here. So now you get different looks. See that? See that? Now, if I was going up against a wall, a white wall, you could probably see the, a bigger color difference here. And so this is maybe not the best place. Maybe pick another one here. Let's, how about this blue and re, uh, orange? So this is, there you go. See, this is even more difficult. So maybe this is not the best place to test it, but see how you can then basically experiment with different colored filters. And these are not just painted plastic. These are actual proper filters, just like these filters over here. And let's uh, go back to this uh, Hobo light here. This, like all the other Hobo lights, uh, this does have uh, NFC, and so you can attach this to the Bluetooth app. And so all these lights here that I'm using, I have two micros here, I have two minis over here, I have a Avant up, actually I have two Avants. One Avant is just bouncing up against this wall here, and then I have the main Avant with the, um, the, the soft box just above here, and all that can be controlled by an app, and you can also add this to your app. And so you can use this and have it in a place where then you can control everything using the app. And let's just turn this on again. Long press, and so here we go. Here is the controls. I'm assuming is long press here. So here you go. So you got Bluetooth on and off. You have effects. You have languages. You have, I don't know what that means, intermittent, about, um, probably software version. There you go. So you have all these different features here. And my guess is probably long press to get out of it again. And then again, to switch back and forth between the, the light intensity and color temperature is all over here. Now, what do you get with a basic standard kit? Well, on a standard kit, you will get, the, obviously, the iris light. You get the standard adjustable lens. You will get the frosted dome. And then you get that USB cable and a pouch. But this thing here is a creator kit. And so what do you get extra? Well, you get the aperture ring control here. So kind of use it like a snoot. You get the four gel filters here. You get this super cool magic lens. You get the Fresnel lens, which is just is so strong, it attaches to it. So you get the Fresnel lens, and as you saw, it basically helps to focus the light. and increases the intensity. And then you still get the adjustable lens and the, the frosted dome that you can put on. Kind of like, maybe like a softbox diffuser. But remember, as I would mentioned, uh, the accessories on the micro will also work on the uh, iris because it's the same. So, as I showed you before, here's the barn doors attaches on my magnets over here, and then bang, you can just put it over here, and now you have basically what's on these ones, you could put it on here, and I mean, I guess it'd work vice versa, right? So here's the micro here, and it should take, there you go, let's look at that. Even the aperture accessory will attach onto the micro, but how do you get the filters? It would be, so I can't see how you can put these filters on the micro, I guess maybe you could kind of hold it with your hand like this. But if there's a way, I will let you know in another video. Uh, this one here, as you can see, the iris has that built-in little slit that you can drop in these filters like this. Right, you can drop it in like this. Look at that. And so I think for now at least, these filters here are unique to the iris. And if you notice as well, there's a little 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 slot here that you can 
put like a little carrying hand strap or something like that. You got your USB-C in, which you can use to charge up, but as well as to just have it always plugged in so you have continuous power. And you don't have to rely on the built-in uh, battery in here. And as well, it has quarter 20 with a little um, pin here so it'll stabilize it. I think they said that they are working on an accessory that will attach to this, so it'll give you the V-mount. And with the V-mount, a lot of the other accessories from Hobo, like this uh, little tripod here, uses the V-mount adapter. So you able to, once you put that attachment on, so there's quarter 20 on the side here, and quarter 20 on the back, and you can see that little pin as well. Then you could just easily just slide this on to all the uh, existing accessories that Hobolite has, but quarter 20 is the main, it, quarter 20 is universal, so even with this little battery pack holder, you can attach this onto this, and again, get extra power, and then quarter 20 the bottom here, and attach this onto a tripod, or onto a tripod plate, or put legs on this, and so this is really part of uh, Hobolite's entire ecosystem, but this, light is i mean the micro was already quite small but i mean just look at the thickness and size difference between these two so this is so small i have an upcoming trip i'm taking this with me because this is so small you can use this as a key light obviously just make sure it's near you so it's not too far away but as well you can soften the light like this you can use the fresnel lens here to increase the intensity you can also change the aperture with this ring here obviously you need the creator kit and use this as a key light, a highlight light, a background light, especially with all these filters, you could put this up against the back wall and actually kind of create light textures, kind of like how I'm using these lights kind of for mood. You could definitely use this one here as something you just kind of keep with you. But I'm kind of excited about these things because now um, I'm hoping that maybe even for the Mini and maybe even for the Avant, imagine them making huge versions of this and you can light like an entire back wall and create these light textures on the back wall of, of wherever you're working on. So I'm super excited to use this as not only, you notice in my YouTube videos, often I do have a micro that's kind of up against the back wall of my studio because it's a pretty boring back wall studio. Now with this and with the micro, I can attach this on and using these, filters and using all these other tools that I have makes some really cool uh, lighting effects for my studio. As I mentioned, $199 for the creator kit. It is uh, $99 for the standard kit. And if you do have a micro and uh, you just want to order some of these uh, different filters, you can get the um, the Iris Optical Modifier Kit, which includes the Fresnel lens, it includes the Aperture Ring, and it includes the um, Magic Lens. Now that is going to be $99 for that uh, Iris Optical Modifier Kit, which you can use on your Micro. And as well, you can get just the uh, Color Gel Filter Essential Pack for $59, which comes with the four gradient color gel inserts. And so the official name is Golden Hour Blue Hour Spring Pastel and Aurora. And I could see them like coming up with multiple filter packs during different seasons. Wouldn't that be cool? And then even like maybe different different types of magic lens, including one with a little motor drive. Wouldn't that be cool? And then actually kind of spins on its own. I think that would be an awesome thing, even like as like a night light for kids. Or maybe you're doing like I don't know, like you know, yoga or exercise or meditate, whatever, and just wanting a, kind of a mood light. I do use my micro as a lamp at home, and I just use it as a mood light. Even if I'm working on my laptop in my kitchen, I'll just put this, put a color gel filter, and set the mood for the room. Well, now I could do the same thing with this, but now I actually add texture to my mood. I also did ask Hobolite about cases because they're kind of well known for making really sturdy, well-designed cases like this. And so that's the thing you didn't notice is there's no case for this. And they said they actually are working on cases. Now this is very functional in utility. I think I think this light is kind of, it's, it's functional in this utility, but also kind of like lifestyle. And so they're gonna do something really special with cases. And I told them, uh, you know, maybe even different wrist straps and maybe neck straps, uh, maybe holster cases. You can hold this on your hip, like a hip pack or maybe one that attaches onto your, your, like if you have a backpack or something, you're gonna attach this on, you kind of clip it. And so they said they are working on different, I mean, look at the, the aesthetics of Hobo Light. You can imagine the kind of stuff they're working on. So these are already pretty looking lights, well-functioning, kind of has like a Leica 
you know, Hasselblad kind of well European design, Dieter Rams kind of design product. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to see what kind of cases. So for now, no hard shell cases for this, but I am excited to see what kind of cases they will come up with this. All right guys, I'm actually now in uh, Studio A and I thought I would just show you how I would set up everything. Uh, just basically using the micros and the brand new iris. And so right here, I kind of have it off camera, but you can see it is just the micro with the uh, the little uh, diffusion, the so kind of like the soft box here. So that's being used as the key light right over here. And then I have my regular uh, micro that I tend to have on my desk and that is red as you can see and I have another one on the floor that's blue. I usually use the LED lights underneath my desk but I thought I would just do uh, basically three uh, Hobolite micros and having kind of like this moody setup in my studio and so again I could have this off camera like this so you don't see it right there and then of course you have the app here you have the app here where you can control everything as a group or individually. So let's just say even with this micro here, I can control the intensity just right from here from the app as well as controlling the color temperature. How cool, how warm I want. I want everything kind of 5500, uh, which is daylight and then control the intensity like this. And of course I could put another light on this side to kind of fill in this side here. But you know, sometimes some YouTubers do like to kind of have the light kind of on camera. I'm not sure if you like that look or not. And then now we have this little light here, the iris, and I do have on it the magic lens. I do have one of the filters in here. I think it's it's blue hour, I think. And then I have the aperture control on here. So let's just turn this on. And you could see as we showed in the studio now, because I have um, other things on in the background here, um, you know, you don't see this by itself, but here, as it moves in and out, it actually focuses and unfocuses. And then also with the, here we go, over here, with the aperture control, uh, you can see how much sharper, can you see that? How much more intense, but it, you, it loses the, um, it loses the intensity, but increases the contrast, sort of like what you would get in a, a regular lens here. And so imagine this being kind of off to the side here, so long as I'm not blocking it like this, but hey, if you want this kind of a look on your face, like it's coming through a window or something, go for it. But if it's off camera like this, notice how you can have this, and imagine this being able to move, wouldn't that be cool? Or having it off camera on this side here like this, and having it kind of part of the background, and you can't see here, but even, you know, when you put it up on the bed, I did this last night, I actually woke up camera girl to show her, but and she loved it. I just showed her, hey, they could do like a kaleidoscope, above the bed and have it kind of faced up this way. And so I can imagine how all the other YouTubers, the other content creators that got the Iris unit, how they're gonna use it. Um, right now I'm showing you basically using three Hobolite micros, using my iPhone to control all of the lights. This would probably be on a tripod, obviously if you want it really stable, but let's just remove the, uh, the magic lens here. And so all, all we have is a light here and the filter. You know, we could use this in so many different ways, right? In fact, let's get the aperture lens on here so you can sort of see how you can even use it. You can even see how the aperture kind of controls the way it looks. And if you want it to kind of, you know, either just as a hair light, well, I'm wearing a cap here, but you can have it as a hair light, kind of a backlight, you can have it fill in on the side here. So this is without, and this is with like this. It's a little bit bright, so I would probably just drop the intensity down to, maybe around 30%, so this is 30% right here, and so you can see how that kind of fills in the side. No fill, a little bit of fill, and the color temperature's off a little bit as well from what this light is here, but again, I can just control all that either from the unit itself or from the using the app, but I think the kind of key to this is just the fact that it's so small, you could take this anywhere you want with you. You have this little magic lens, you can make creative effects, but you don't need to use it all the time. Just use this, um, as I mentioned, you could use this as a key light if you wanted to. In fact, let's just uh, test it as a key light right now. It's at the 34%, and so let's just turn this one off here. So this is at 34%, and of course I don't have a diffuser on it. Let's, uh, let's grab a diffuser. So I just popped on the diffuser, and increase the power here, right? Putting the light about where the micro is here, and you can see it does a decent job. And if you're using this as a fill light, if you're on a Zoom call or something, and it is, there is room light, but there's kind of shadows and stuff, you could definitely use this as a fill light, like this, right? I think the strength of this isn't as a key light. Use it if you have to use it as a key light, but 
I would recommend if you want to keep things small and compact, use the micro as your key light and then just use this for highlights. So let's just drop this down to 25% and now I'm matching the color temperature. So notice before like this and then now like this, right? You could just fill in a little bit like that. And so five watts again, but it's a COB chip on board, a single LED light. So it's way more powerful because you have modifiers in here. IP54 rated two hours of battery at full power and it has the uh, the built-in battery USB-C and so you can actually just keep it plugged in if you want continuous lighting and have it kind of set somewhere in your studio full time and then with the all the various accessories like the magic lens, the aperture control, you have your, your Fresnel lens to, for more focusing and then you have aperture control and you have the drop in filters. You could just, I mean, I'm really looking forward to just kind of experimenting with this. And I just put the filter back in here and put this back on here, bring it up to 100%. And here we go. You can see again, kind of the, kind of the fun things you can do with this little compact light. And so thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, but again, I just unboxed it. I'm just looking at it. And so there's so many ways that I think you could use this that it's hard to, to foresee every kind of application, but that's why I'm taking this on the road with me. So follow me on Instagram as I play around with this light and show how I can use it. I could probably even just use it almost like a flashlight at times and other times just as a fill light and other times use it like a flash, right? So as you saw what I was doing before, uh, just by turning this on here, drop it down to about 25%. You could just kind of move it around and figure out, well, you know, how can you use a light this compact and small and so versatile that it just becomes part of your EDC. So thank you Hope Life for sending this out to me. Thank you Helena, thank you Kiran, thank you Roland, uh, Kevin, Brian, the entire, am I missing anyone? The, you know, the entire team over at Hobolite. I had a great time with them down at WPPI in Las Vegas, meeting the entire team. And then they actually talked about this uh, light being developed. And I was super excited because I said to them, it'd be nice if you made a light similar in size to the Aperture MC, because that's the one light that I take with me everywhere. Even if I end up not using it, it's just nice knowing you have a compact little light with you. This is amazing, the kind of thing, especially that I can put modifiers on here. Uh, so thank you so much uh, for making this light and thank you so much for having me be able to test it right away and to be able to showcase it. And so links down below for those of you that are interested in checking out the different kits, the crater kit, the standard kit, and the upcoming cases and straps. Because again, as I mentioned, there's a little spot there you can add a little, um, a, a latch or a string or, or a or neck strap or something on here. So just having this around your neck, I think it's great. And then I think there's this, there's even a magnetic attachment to this as well. Then you can just kind of attach it onto things. You can use this, you know, I don't know if you're working on your car or in your garage and you just need a compact five watt light, but surprisingly bright five watt light with you. IP54 is awesome. So thank you so much for watching. Let's just uh, camera here. We'll talk to you soon and happy shooting. Peace.